Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today we are going over a couple new additions to the shop. These are both from X Tool, and it's all about clean air today. So let's get started. Now, if you're familiar with laser cutting, one of the big issues really is trying to get those fumes from inside your space outside. Now, when you're using laser cutters, whether you're doing wood or acrylic or whatever, you can have smoke, you can have VOCs. There can kind of be some harmful stuff that you don't want to breathe in. So there are kind of a couple of options. A lot of people will try to exhaust them outside a window or something, which can work decently well. But what Xtool really has done is created a product or a couple products now that does an incredible job at eliminating those fumes, not just uh, with a window, but actually doing it without a window through this filtration system. And we're gonna check that out now. Now jumping into this AP2 air purifier system. Now it kind of looks like this futuristic computer tower to me. Uh, it's on wheels, it kind of slides. So aesthetically very pleasing, looks really cool. But uh, the super great and easy feature is this front cover just magnetic. You just pull it off and then it kind of unveils the filter system that it that's inside of it. So you got all these different filtration systems and not only are you gonna have a great result with the dust, so the dust is I believe 99.97% you're gonna get all that dust. You're also gonna have those VOCs or those harmful things that you don't wanna breathe. That's almost 98% um, that is, it's filtering out just with this system. So uh, I can provide the links on all this so you can really deep dive into all the the really specific percentages of what it filters, but it's kind of like nothing that I believe is on the market. Where Xtil has does have some other filter systems, some smaller ones for like the F1, um, and I have both those other standalone uh, air purifiers, but nothing comes close to uh, the filtering that you're going to get with this AP2. All right, now that we got the front lid open, kind of we can take a little closer look at the filters. Now these filters are kind of box style filters. They just kind of slide right in and out. So you can kind of get a gauge of that. Really nice how they have them labeled too. Um, so there's no confusion when, if you took all these out or replacing them, there's no kind of confusion what order they're gonna be in. Cause you're gonna have the one through, one through five and then the top is the cyclone, um, the fans and everything. So really makes it easy to kind of uh, change out the system and if you need to replace filters um, they make it really convenient for that. All right we'll just kind of throw that cover back on. Now you kind of see the inside will kind of flip around to the back make sure it doesn't go off the table and the back is pretty straightforward so you have your power button um, you got your in and your out with the airflow so it's uh, going to be the standard kind of most of the X tools well not all of them but the, the bigger ones kind of use the three inch diameter um, ports. So it's already kind of married with that style. So that's, uh, it's gonna work, work with your X-Tools very well. The, I'm sure you can get adapters if you have different laser cutters as well to use the system. But one of the huge pros of the system is gonna be the smart features that it does include. All right, so what do I really mean about the smart system that these inline fan and then the AP2 use? Now, with, in comparison here, we have the smallest uh, air filter that x offers. This paired up with the F1 is, is really a great setup, especially being portable and everything. But so this smart feature with the F1, the small engraver, it can tell, you plug it in the F1, you start your engraving, this thing automatically kicks on, and then your engraving gets done, and then it runs for a little while, just to make sure the air is getting purified, and then it shuts off. So, Really cool, nice, smart feature. You can also turn it on and off manually, but just a convenience factor about not having to, to actually do that when it's hooked up to the F1. So not only can this AP2 do exactly what this smaller unit does as far as auto st start and stop, but it actually, you can program in what material you're using and it's gonna know exactly the best rate this machine should use compared to the material. Now, what do I mean by that? So say you're cutting plywood. Plywood's gonna produce a lot of smoke. This machine will run at a, basically a higher CFM, you get higher airflow going through there to purify that smoke more efficiently. Now, say you are cutting acrylic where you're dealing with more, say VOC, VOC fumes, you're not really having that smoke. This this unit is going to slow down that, that CFM, which is going to give the filters a better opportunity to capture all those fumes inside of that. 
So I guess what I'm saying, I don't understand the science behind it or whatever, but basically Xtool has done all the research on all these different materials. And now it's programmed in these machines, so it's gonna know exactly the best rate that these machines should run in to get you the cleanest air afterwards. Now switching from the air purifier to this optional inline fan that you can also get is one thing you might notice is it's kind of on the small side. So a lot of times you'll see a four inch, a six, I have a six inch system um, currently, but something kind of interesting about you think, oh, the bigger the better, you know, which a lot of times is the case. But when you're dealing with a lot of these X tools with the three inch port, uh, a lot of times you'll have a six inch inline fan and you think, oh wow, it's going to, you know, work so much better, but you're going to have this bottleneck with the sizing. So x -Tool has this dual fan motor tied in with the three inch that sizes up perfectly with the x -Tool machines, but they are able to get incredible performance, it does have the, the dual fans in there, incredible performance from a smaller inline fan. And what's nice is how small this is. So it, you have brackets, you can mount it pretty much anywhere. Uh, the bigger six inch inline fans that you can get, they definitely take up some space. You have the bigger ducting and everything. So it's small, compact, it's got the smart feature, but you can also just run it as well. So um, really cool couple products now from Xtool and it's gonna be kind of exciting to see uh, the kind of the smell test, you know, when we get these things hooked up, how different is it gonna be um, for the smoke fumes and the acrylic. So with all that being said, we're gonna hook it up to the system, we'll run some tests, and we'll see how these, uh, these components actually work. All right, so I kinda have my makeshift set up here. I got the P2S, that brand new laser cutter from Xtool, which is awesome. Uh, I got the inline fan hooked up behind here, and then the AP2 hooked up. Now, uh, what I didn't show is in the back, you plug in these little, uh, I think, I don't know if they're doggles, I don't know, hopefully you can see that. And so those kind of hook up to the machine and kind of sync in with the inline fan, the air purifier. Now it seems kind of like a Bluetooth kind of connection where they uh, really easily sync up. Now I'm not really getting into the software side of things with that just because uh, with these new products, there's some firmware, firmware updates I want to say. So uh, when you're getting these products yourself, it's going to kind of be a different setup for you. So without uh, again, can confusing the audience right now kind of as an early adopter of this machine we'll kind of ignore that for now so shouldn't be a big deal for um, the setup and the software so we're going to do some plywood test cuts get that smoke going and uh, kind of kind of do that smell test in the air now one thing to note is when I hooked this this thing up um, it wasn't tightly sealed this is going to go to the back of the AP2 here so you're going to want to you're gonna to wanna to check all your hose connections. Uh, use some duct, actually duct tape around there. Might not be a bad idea because I could just feel like some air blow by coming back. So you don't want any leakage in the kind of system. You want it all be going into um, this machine here. So we'll get that all squared away. Uh, put this thing back in the machine and we'll uh, do some test cuts on plywood. All right, here we go. All right, it's pumping through. It's kind of hard to hear now a little bit, probably with the microphone with the fans, but I am not smelling anything right now. Yep, still. And I feel just the tiniest bit of airflow around um, the seal, this hose here. Like I mentioned about that tape, uh, it's a good idea. So, so yeah, when I smell that, that's where a little bit of smoke odor is coming from. <laughs> All right, so that plywood test went really well. Just a hint of smoke smell in the air. Almost positive is coming from um, these hoses and that's the leak through. So you're getting a lot of airflow coming through this setup. So it's, it's just, you're going to want to make, make sure you tighten up all those joints. So you can kind of just feel around pretty easily see where the air is coming from. So I'm going to kind of test that and we're going to do some acrylic next. Now, I'm kind of, I was wondering like, how am I going to film a video on air quality where it's a video, it's, you can't smell it. So it is kind of tough, um, like relaying that message of how these machines work, but hopefully the visual will give you the idea. And we're going to try some acrylic. Now, 
in the past for me acrylics have been the worst it for me it's been really hard to like get all those even with the outside air set up get those smells out of the air and for me like those smells are probably worse than the smoke smells as far as your health so we'll try some acrylic see how that goes and we'll see how the system works All right, so that white acrylic test, I think went very well. I feel like there's still a hint of the smell, but I actually feel like it smells less than when I had, when I was using my six inch inline fan going directly outside. I don't know if that's possible, but it's, it seems like this did an even better job. Now, which is interesting is I'm trying to like isolate where even that hint of smell is kind of leaking out or whatever. And the back of the uh, AP2, just kind of smelling that air directly, it, I couldn't smell it at all. So I'm, I'm suspicious that the fumes that are getting out aren't because of this machine. It's probably still, I you can see, I, I did tape, uh, tape the joints and everything. And so I'm definitely gonna kind of leak test throughout the, the ducting system as uh, for potential leaks. Cause I feel like if you get this system all sealed up going just through this machine, it's gonna do an incredible job. And also there's the opportunity where you can run this machine and you're gonna have the exhaust port that you could in theory still run outside too. So this doesn't necessarily have to eliminate a running out, uh, running your ducting outside system, but it could just be like the best of both worlds doing them both. So if you do have any questions on this uh, machine, the inline fan, I kind of got tucked behind here. It's kind of hard to show everything in this video. Um, please leave them in that comment section below. I'll answer those questions. I'll provide the links to these machines. This is a P2S, the brand new X tool. Um, and yeah, the inline fan, air purifier. Have all those links in the description below. Uh, this is just launching now, so it's, those are usually at the best prices uh, around the launch time. So you can save a few bucks uh, when you pick up uh, this unit. So as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and we'll see you on the next one.